All right, well, welcome back to the next Adirondacks here. Uh, by looking at it, you probably guessed what I want to do as far as colors. Um, but here's what I'm using this time, and I don't know if I'm happy with it or not. But um, So this stuff's from uh, Cabot at Menards. What I chose was the, the solid color um, stains. I think if I do another chair, I might try the semi or semi-transparent, but I'm looking for some good color um, for this chair. So I'm using this. It is a stain, right? Um, I'll show you page 13 here. Let's see what it says. All right. So solid stains for color and coverage. It shows uh, wood texture without the grain. Um, it's maximum UV protection and durability. That's what I'm looking for. Um, so I'm willing to sacrifice some some things to get to that. Uh, it says it's the longest lasting full coverage protection against weather and wear. Well, we're going to find out. So what I did was I went to Menards and I asked the guy, I said, how do we tint this stuff? And uh, basically he said, pick out any color on the shelf on any any company out there, whatever color it is, he'll tint it to that. So I'm doing red, white, and blue. Blue looks pretty good. White, white, right? Um, the red didn't come out like I wanted it to. And this is just a scrap piece, more of a pink. So I might go back and see if I can choose a different color for my red. Um, but just a, a shout out to this company. I've used them on the, the first chair I built. And uh, that stain, it's semi-transparent, and it worked out really well. I'm real happy with it. So went back, and we're trying this stuff. So stay tuned. I'll show you how this thing turns out once I can find a good red. Talk to you in a bit.